and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to be flying the really large 747-400. We're going to have a quick review of 11.30 Release 2 and Release 3. This is a bit of a catch-up video um, since I made a bit of a sound error. I had a sound error on, that, uh, on the last one. So I thought I'd remake it for a bit of fun. Um, give this big girl a bit of a fly around the sky and try and land the thing again. I, I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll give it a very good, very good bash. And, uh, and we'll take off here from Brisbane International Airport, which I've only been to uh, a number of times. And uh, look, if you happen to be new to the channel and you haven't been here before, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that little bell icon down the bottom there. Uh, we've got uh, lots and lots of videos here on the channel for you if you're uh, aviation an aviation nerd as I am and uh, if you are returning for another another dose then welcome back guys it's really great to have you here uh, don't be frightened to uh, comment down the bottom eh? Uh, anything you uh, would like to see in the future uh, one other thing I thought maybe you guys might be interested in knowing how to go about making all these videos if that's something you would like um, you'd like me to put together because I do this on very much the budget uh, but if you like what you see and you're considering making a few videos or just doing stuff for your family, um, let me know and I'll uh, maybe I can put a video together for you in the near future. So here we are. This big girl is ready to go. Flaps and slats all... Well, they're all hanging out in the breeze yet. I've got to wind these back up a bit. They're a little bit high, uh, a little bit too much there at the moment. We'll get it back to uh, about, say, 10 degrees, I think. We'll do us. So we'll get that back. We'll get the view set up get my um, make sure my pedals are working and uh, we'll get this girl up in the air now what's happened since um, oh, with release 2 let me run through the things that have happened in release 2 um, and uh, and there's quite a lot of things happened there I, I guess the one big thing we've had with release 2.6 onwards was the amount of airports that we've been um, gifted in 11.3 alone, we have 137 new 3D airports. And uh, since 11.2526, um, we've got well over a thousand. So um, there's certainly a lot of uh, new airports for us to go out there and discover. Um, let's see, ground effects is one of the things that's, uh, it's, that we've all noticed, I think, ground effects when we've been flying. And uh, wing forces, uh, post stall now if you've done any stalls then you would have noticed this um, maybe some changes here but uh, if just in normal flight you uh, you wouldn't notice a lot of this these particular things uh, they've updated the propeller and the prop wash modeling so um, all the aircraft you would think would feel a little bit more realistic um, if you're creating your own though this is all these additions as well to how aircraft fly are uh, being incorporated into Plane Maker. So if you happen to be uh, a Plane Maker yourself, um, then there's going to be a few extra things for you to uh, to make your aircraft even more realistic than they have been to date. Um, there's been some downwash modelling as well. Um, I think that's mainly from the helicopters, um, which I have uh, just done a video on. So uh, have a look at that if you like. and. Uh, Watch me try and fly a helicopter for the first time. One of the Sikorsky 76s that's in a recent video. Um, what else have they done? With the jet engine side of things, there's been a lot of refinements on that. They've actually linked N1 and N2, which is uh, engine RPMs, really. I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that's the first and the second blades um, because they counter rotate um, so that. I think so that there's no particular torque. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that, but if you're a, you're a jet nerd, feel free to let me know. I, in, engines aren't my strongest point. Um, if you want to know how to blow stuff up, let me know, because I know how to do that. Now, side forces and body modelling. Um, well, the side forces on the body, uh, taxiing, taking off, and moving around. This I noticed... Uh, I really noticed this when, I, when they first... Uh, release that part of it in uh, in release two, and uh, that was amazing. Just the the feel of that, it suddenly felt like you could get nudged sideways, or if you, um, and and the amount of 
um, rudder input and that screeching that everyone's always complained about in, in X-Plane 11 is pretty much gone. Um, you, you do get it if you oversteer, if you really get heavy on the rudders or you're sliding around on the runway, you, yeah you do still get it but um, you probably would anyway or you're certainly getting some, some tight noises out of that so that's got a lot better as well. Um, moving on to other things that have happened, gliders. Um, there's a whole range of tow options. Um, again, I've done a, a couple of gliding videos not that long ago and um, really enjoyed doing that. That's something I'm going to do a little bit more of. But I'm um, having a bit of an adventure at the moment, having a look at all these things that I haven't done in X-Plane 11. So, um, yeah, new glider options, tows, winch options, uh, getting towed up by aircraft. That was That's a, uh, a real challenge in itself, so if you haven't given that a go, um, highly recommend it, just keeping yourself either just above or just below the tow plane, but keeping essentially behind it um, is a real a lot of fun. Uh, thrust reversing, which is something um, I don't know how to employ uh, in the 747, so it's going to be all feet brakes today when we when we eventually get back. Doesn't she look big in the sky? And you do need a lot of rudder as well. That's the one thing that really surprised me because a lot of the small aircraft. You really essentially don't need it, and even in the um, Jabiru's that I've flown for real, um, the Jabiru's don't really need a lot of rudder, just a little bit now and again, and it is more sensitive one side than the other just because of the prop torque when you're doing turns. One side you hardly need any at all, and the other side you need a little bit more. Um, but again, something, I, I didn't really feel it, it's one of those seat of the pants things, unless you're staring intently at the, um, the slip. I used to get a nudge in the in the side from my instructor when it wasn't quite right, so um, something I'll have to work on in the future. Um, what else have we got? Things that have changed nose wheel steering. Well, just gave that a bit of a mention anyway, so that's got massively better. That's really good. Um, VA head position's got a bit of a, a bit of a tuning, and uh, there are a lot of small VR improvements for you VR guys out there who I wish to join. Um, Hopefully not too long. Maybe by the end of this year I'll, I'll be VR ready and VR flying. Um, I'm really looking forward to that because it just sounds amazing. I'm not sure which way to go on the uh, pedals. Now, I thought I'd give this a bit of a run as well because in my previous flight, I'm not trying to crash it, um, I wanted to see whether we hit the particle effects, which has been such a big thing. There we go. Um, just getting a little bit off the main wing, which is really good, and off the wing tips. So. You don't want to be throwing a 747 around too much, but they're certainly there. Um, vacuum and gyro caging and limits. Um, these have been made a little bit more realistic than, than maybe they were in the past, so that's been really good. Uh, and uh, to mention the 747, tow brakes. Tow brakes have been uh, fixed up so that they work properly. Um, not having flown the 747 prior to today, really, oh, the, I have got the one flight, I'll be honest, as I mentioned, but uh, um, really, I'm very, very new to this, so I haven't flown jets around much. I don't find them interesting, or I haven't found them interesting in the past. I'm um, having spent too much time on them as a passenger, you know, I've spent a lot of time on jets over the years, travelling around the place, um, Middle East and the UK and all, all over the place there, not name dropping, but I've just spent a lot of time, you know. So um, I've never really had a fascination to fly them. Um, so what else have we got here? Uh, oh, there was some sun flickering in uh, in release two, um, primarily in VR, where the sun was playing up a little bit when you look towards it, I'd imagine, or if it was in view. Um, that was supposed to have been fixed in release two. Uh, it obviously didn't happen properly because it was still an issue and it's been uh, addressed again with uh, release 3 now so that's, uh, that's happened um, there was a f well, this, this would have upset you a little bit uh, if you're flying VR on the 172 at night your the runway lights came through the floor apparently <laughs> that would have been a little bit upsetting so uh, that's been sorted out and uh, anything else? Uh, taxi lights uh, in night lights, actually, I'm pretty sure I noticed that myself. There wasn't many nights lights around at night recently. 
uh, when you're flying around and that is apparently all being sorted out so now uh, when you go flying at night there's going to be plenty of lights and flickering and all that sort of stuff happening and again the rain in the cockpit um, <laughs> that would have been really funny especially in VR but uh, yeah that's apparently been sorted so that sort of covers release 2 and release 3 and where we are and it's, uh, it's time to get this big girl back on the deck. So we're about 10 miles out. I don't know Brisbane Airport very well, so I'm pretty sure it's around to my left. So we'll uh, start a turn around and we'll get ourselves lined up and uh, see if we can get this girl on the ground in, in, one, uh, in one piece. It is certainly a challenge to fly, isn't it? it you have to be on the ball all the time flying it manually keeping track of that uh, the VSI and just making sure you're not climbing constantly I found I had to adjust my um, my viewpoint I had to bring my viewpoint uh, further down so that the horizon was sitting just a little bit above the um, cowling there and that gave me a bit better visual reference is what I'm more used to so that gives me a better view around about there and uh, then you can keep track of the horizon you don't want it rolling up and down in the view in front of you so you try and get it stabilized get to sort of trimmed out so let's get a I know we're lined up here I can just see it in the distance so I think I'm just a tad right of the main runway you can see, you can see the landing lights there or the Varsity lights. Um, they're white, so I'm a little bit high. I need to get a little bit further left, I think, and uh, and get us get myself lined up so that we can get on the ground and not kill anybody. It does need constant work, doesn't it, guys? I'll have to give. Uh, what's your favourite airliner, guys? Is is there uh, an easy on? Because this is actually a fairly new. Um, addition to X-Plane 11 as well guys, this came out not that long ago as an addition to the uh, the Lamina Stable and I think it's very prudent that we should give the boys at and the girls at Lamina uh, a, a big thank you and a pat on the back for the work they've been doing. Um, I did see a post in Facebook the other day where someone, um, I think Spanish because the, uh, the, the writing I saw on the screen grab was Spanish, um, had had mentioned some issue uh, that needed um, fairly urgent uh, fixing and that had, that came out in release 3 so they were pretty either on the ball already or um, were very quick to fix it so yeah we're doing pretty well we've got a good bunch of people there looking after us at Lamina Research so thanks guys so let's get ourselves lined up I think I'm a lot closer to being lined up now the one thing that does get me is the height above the ground when you come in over the runway. Now being three stories or something above the ground seems just an, you're sort of feeling for the for the main runway, and it just seems to be forever away from you. I'm trying to keep our speed right. I'm trying to sit at about 150, 160. Um, I, I didn't really go and have a quick look and see what we were, but that's what I took off at, so I figure that's a, a reasonable start to be around that. And uh, I haven't got any thrust reverse, I haven't got uh, spoilers, although I'm pretty sure that big lever there on the right is the spoilers or speed brake, so um, if I have another fly then I'll give that a bash and see if I can get that done. But at 150 knots, and we've got all those tyres and all those brakes, I think we should be pretty safe, don't you? Close, getting close. Landing gear, landing gear, landing gear, landing gear. Now I'm pretty sure I've just put the, I've just hit the G key and got the the brakes down, or the rear gear down. Oh, I mustn't have done that right because there's no gear, is there? That's a bit of a beginner's mistake. So let's get the the gear down. I'll just do that again then. Maybe I hit the wrong key. There we go, there she comes. All the gears down, flaps are all the way down, slats are all the way out. Coming over the grass here on the approach to uh, 
Brisbane International. Well, the approach is going all right. Now, we'll just try and keep the controls, keep it level. Um, I'm a bit worried about how high I sit in this if I get it right. Oh, little bounce, little bounce. That's okay. We'll get it back. Oh, not as hard as I thought that was going to be. All the wheels are down. Little bounce on the nose where we made that through pretty safely. Oh, damn. Well, not bad for... Uh, well, it's pretty much a first shot at uh, landing this big lady. She's uh, she's certainly a little bit of a handful around the sky, but uh, yeah, a lot of fun. I can see why everybody enjoys flying the airliners as well. Uh, I'm sure once you get into all the systems and everything, it's uh, it makes it a bit more of a challenge as well. So here we come in again. I can't believe that I uh, I nearly lost the the whole thing by not putting the gear down. I know for sure I hit that uh, G key on the keyboard, but I must have missed it or done something wrong. So getting pretty straight. Lots of control movements though, you know, it's just constantly on it to get uh, to get this big girl back on the ground. And we're holding the nose up there. I did have to uh you know, I just moved my, my view there and put the power back down. Uh trying to maintain about one fifty, I think it was on the way in. And I look like I'm diving down at it a fair it fairly steeply, but when you look from the outside it didn't look as bad as it does from inside. There we go, leveling out, little back, nose down, and we're we're there, we're there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I guess I'm gonna have to flow these things a little bit more and see uh, and see how much fun they really are. It's it's really good, isn't it? These things. Um, so here we are. We we've made it. We're back at uh, at the airport. So let's taxi in and uh, get ourselves parked. It's a little bit sparse, isn't it? There's there's not a lot happening around the airport, although there's plenty there. So um, maybe a little bit of overlay editor to work could be done there, and just add a few uh, few more aeroplanes just sitting around in view, or just ticking the box to have some aircraft on the ground. I guess um, in the uh, in the settings might be possible as well. So um, that would make it look a little bit a little bit tight on the steering there. Got to pull up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you may or may not be aware this is uh, I've had to do this last little bit of the video again because um, from 15, oh, 15 seconds of, uh, from fifteen minutes and two seconds I think it turned into white noise. So um, I hope that didn't um, didn't catch anybody out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, look if you're new to Let's Fly VFR and uh, you you like what you see please feel free to hit that subscribe button for me. I love to have them. We're heading slowly towards uh, a thousand subscribers. Still got a way to go at about eight hundred and ten or fifteen. Um, then hopefully we can get that before uh, the next few months would be really great. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, come visit let'sflyvfr.com if you're looking to buy anything new. Slowly adding uh, more and more uh, items there for you. Come and support the channel. Uh, if you happen to purchase something through there and the prices are right, um, Let's Fly VFR does get a little bit back to help us uh, keep making videos and things as well. So appreciate your support should you choose to use that. And uh, let's get ourselves in and parked so everybody can get off. I think I should have used one of the other air bridges. This looks like it might be one of the small, um, small domestic points. I don't know the airport that well. So get him started. Stopped. There we go. All good. So a fun flight in my first 747. I will catch you again here at Let's Fly VFR real soon. This is uh, this just lots of videos on the channel, guys. Feel free to have a bit of a search around. And there's stuff there on Ortho. There's stuff there on Overlay Edit. If you want to build airports. There's all sorts of tutorial tutorials. There's some flying stuff there on how to go about actually doing it using the limited flying skills that I have in the real world. Just try and help you out so you have a bit more fun. And uh, this aircraft looks pretty magnificent, doesn't it? Again, this is another new one from oh, one of the, I think two six from the two six release, or maybe the three zero release. It's pretty new anyway. So we'll catch you back here again all real soon. Have a really huge day. Thanks for coming to the channel.